will discuss about absorption of drugs how drugs are absorbed first of all let's we know what is absorption absorption is the process by which drugs moves from the site of administration to the blood stream that is movement of drug from site of administration site of administration to blood stream absorption means movement of drug from the site of administration to the blood stream for example if we think we are taking a tablet orally what happened this tablet after taking its orally it will go to the our stomach and then it will become some particle after getting to the particle it will dissolve in the stomach juice or it may enter this if drug may go to our same thing to the intestine if it is not broken in the stomach ph it will go to our intestine and similarly it will break to particle and it will dissolve so there are few steps happen first step is the drug tablet is broken to some particle which is called disintegration after that particle these are the particle which will dissolve in stomach juice or similarly in our intestine which is called dissolution dissolution when the drug is dissolved in the water stomach juice or in intestine for example if we give the sugar it will dissolve in the water similarly a drug after get disintegration it will dissolve in the juice after then like our food particle it will absorb from the stomach or small intestine like this from intestine it will absorb and it will reach to our blood blood circulation this is called absorption means the site of administration this is the final site oral route orally either it may be stomach or intestine from there the drug will reach to our blood stream it is called absorption so we understood what is absorption now we will discuss some factors which affects our absorption process the first factor is called lipid solubility because this the membrane our biological membrane is made up of lipid lipid bilayer membrane so if a drug is having more lipid solubility more lipid solubility if lipid solubility is more then more absorption will take place more absorption so if any drug having more lipid solubility they are soluble more in the lipid or fats or oil then they will more absorption will take place particle size so if any drug having very small particle size they are becoming very small then they will easily dissolve very fast they will break down they will get disintegration and fast dissolve and they are small in particles so easily absorb means smaller particle size then what happen more absorption more absorption if particle size is small then absorption will more next point is degree of ionization very important if any drug remain more unionized form unionized drug absorbs more absorption will take place because ion if drug remain in the ionic form they may tend to form some complex they may ionic complex they may form and absorption will decrease so that is very important a more unionized form drug remain more unionized form then more absorption will take place 
if the drug is acidic the acidic drug remain unionized more in acidic ph and then absorption will more for example in our stomach ph is acidic ph and our average ph of our small intestine is basic ph so if we give acidic drug like aspirin aspirin it is aspirin means acetyl salicylic acid this is an acidic drug then which will remain unionized in acidic ph means in stomach so absorption of aspirin will more in our stomach but less in our intestine so very important ionization as much unionized drug will absorb more dosage form very important there are various types of dosage form are there drug may be gas liquid syrup may be tablets like this different dosage form are there gaseous form if the drug is in gas form very easily absorbed if drug is in the liquid form or syrup or either in suspension or emulsion then what happen disintegration breaking down like tablet are not required so immediately they will dissolve and immediately they will absorb so as more as gaseous forms are absorbed fast then liquid form then syrup and then tablet tablets need to break down to disintegrate after then they need to dissolve and then they need to absorb so tablet take more time for absorption chemical nature of the drug chemical nature of the drug is very important some drug if they remain in inorganic form inorganic inorganic drug are absorbed more absorption for example ferrous form of iron are more absorbed than ferric form organic form next point we are going to discuss absorption surface area where the drug need to absorb after dissolution if the surface area for example surface area of small intestine is more than surface area of stomach so more surface area faster the absorption that's why the basic drugs are absorbed fast than acidic drug so surface area of the drug is very important next is blood flow blood flow to the particular region when a particular region for example in our stomach or in our small intestine blood flow is more then more absorption will take place so if we take a drug and we keep in the resting condition if we rest then more blood circulation take place in our stomach and intestine because autonomic nervous system in our parasympathetic action during the resting more blood circulation take place in stomach or intestine that time more absorption will take place that is the blood flow after blood flow the ph ph is very important already we discuss ionization of the drug depend on the ph so if our stomach ph is acidic acidic ph then more absorption of acidic drug will take place our stomach stomach ph is acidic so if we take an acidic drug then more absorption will take place now what happen our stomach ph is not acidic if acidity of the stomach ph is uh, is uh, decrease the ph increase means ph will increase it becomes slightly more 5 ph ph become 5 or 6 if we take an antacid or any other thing then what happen the ph will increase then the absorption of acidic drug will decrease decrease because in acidic ph the acidic drug absorption will increase but if we change the ph then the absorption will decrease next disease condition in some disease the absorption will add alter for example if anyone suffer from diarrhea 
then the drug if we take a drug with food then they will stay very less time in our system GID tract then the absorption will decrease like in case of diarrhea or some other disease like constipation Consti constipation what happened in the constipation gastric motility will decrease the movement of the drug uh, sorry movement of our GIT will decrease then the breakdown if the drug is in the tablet form the breakdown of the drug will decrease and the absorption will decrease but if the drug is in the liquid form then it will stay more time then absorption will increase that is the disease condition GI motility that already we discussed if GI motility is increased gastrointestinal motility more motility will happen the drug retention time that is called retention time retention time drug will retain for less time then absorption will decrease next point interaction with food interaction with food and other drugs drug will interact if we have taken any food before taking the drug then what happened if the drug may interact with the food particle for example if we take uh, milk in the milk calcium is present and in the meantime if we take some antacid and that antacid base form of that will react with the calcium of the milk and they form complex and they will decrease the absorption similarly so many type of the tetracycline tetracycline also form the complex with the metal ion and they will decrease so interaction with the food and other drugs so similarly if we take two drugs together then they may interact and that thus they will form insoluble substance and which will not absorb so that is we'll discuss in the next future that the interaction drug drug interaction drug food interaction very vast course is there last point disintegration and dissolution is very important so mainly disintegration and dissolutions are applicable to tablets and capsules if we take a drug as a tablet form it need to disintegrate and disintegration depends on the ph of stomach some drug will not disintegrate easily if the drug suppose this is a tablet if it is coated coated means there is covered coated tablet then which will not disintegrate in acidic ph which will move to the basic ph and there it will disintegrate and then the absorption will take place so again we revise this in the short what is absorption absorption means the movement of a drug from the site of administration to the blood circulation movement of the drug this movement movement of the drug from the site of administration to blood circulation this is called absorption there are so many factors which affects our absorption this main are lipid solubility lipid solubility next particle size of the drug degree of ionization of the drug next is dosage form either the drug is solid liquid or gaseous form chemical nature of the drug absorption surface area blood flow to that area ph of the area ph then disease stage if anyone suffer from other disease like diarrhea constipation cirrhosis or acidity like this GIT motility motility of the GI how much your GIT get motility movable stomach and intestine interaction with food and other drugs and last point is disintegration and dissolution